All right, it is time to crack open a very special version of Naruto to Boruto, Shinobi Striker, the Uzumaki edition. As you can see here from the two Uzumakis on the front, being Naruto and Boruto, Shinobi Striker. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a particularly like the deluxe edition thing that comes with the statue and everything, which we shall go to in a second. And the reason I'm opening this about two years after the game came out is because I got it on Black Friday for like £28. Which is ridiculous because this is retailing for ninety five, so I don't, I don't even, I'm not even good enough at maths to work out how much of a reduction that is. But I purely bought it for the statue. Also, kind of want to give the game a try for this price. You can't go wrong. So we're gonna have a quick look at the box. Uh, the front, obviously, really nice um, artwork actually on this as well. On the one side, we've got Boruto, Sarada, and Mitsuki, who are uh, the new Team Seven in the new Boruto anime. And on the other side we got the classic Team 7, which is Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura. I will say, um, these are all rendered like in-game, I think. I don't know why Sakura looks a bit derpy. I don't know if it's just the rendering or like the shot or whatever. The rest look fine. Um, weirdly, this team looks really good, actually. You can barely tell they're even rendered, so... I don't know. Anyway, um, and if we turn around, we see the back, which is become the greatest shinobi ever. Um, and obviously in different languages as well, um, and it shows you what you get with the thing, which we'll we'll dive into in a second. The top just has the logo, and the bottom is plain black. So I'm going to crack open the plastic seal, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and it's time to crack it open. Now, unfortunately, this is slightly too big for the camera. Um, thankfully, though, everything inside isn't going to be because ooh, ooh, okay. So right at the top there, it's hard to see, but right at the top is the game. And that is Shinobi Striker itself. Uh, it's kind of like a 4v4 team thing, I think. Um, it's a very international uh, cover because there's different different uh, languages version of that. And yeah, basically you kind of make your own ninja and you fight with others on a team and stuff. It looks pretty cool. I know the online isn't all that busy anymore, but you know, I, I think the, the there's a new Sasuke um, from Naruto The Last in the um, season pass recently, and I know that this actually comes the season pass. I don't know if it's inside here or if it's inside the big box. If we don't see it inside the inbox, I'll, uh, I'll open this up to have a check. But the main reason I bought this is this big thing. Uh, hang on. All right, quickly, before I open up the statue, I would just like to confirm, I've opened up the um, game case, that's the disc if anyone wants to see it, and uh, inside, indeed, there was a Epic Rewards Club kind of point thing, um, which you can redeem on the Bandai Namco thing, and indeed the season pass for um, Shinobi Striker. I'm not going to show you guys the code, because I want to use it myself. Um, because really, when I think about it, I'm pretty sure the game was on sale recently for something like £16, with the season pass being about £10. So, I worked it out that, honestly, I'm not paying much more for the um, statue itself. And, indeed, I don't know the statue, I do notice it is made by Ban Presto, who makes some pretty darn good um, statues. I happen to have two of them myself. And they're pretty damn good quality. Anyway, I'm going to get open the uh, the cell tape and I'll be right back. My god, that was well sealed. Alright then, let's open this thing up. So I think this statue is exclusive to this edition. I don't think you can like buy this statue elsewhere. Or if you can, I have been duped. Oh, right, okay, so it comes in several parts. I'm going to be putting the parts together, don't worry. Uh, so I believe... Right. I'll get a better angle at everything in a second, but we do indeed get the base, which is always useful. We have uh, Boruto and we have Boruto's dad. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything together. I'll get a better angle on everything and I'll be right back again. Alright, so I've put it together and I've got to say, this is a pretty darn cool statue. Um, it might lack a slight bit of detail that other Ban Presto um, products I've bought in the past have. But I, honestly, I'd say it wasn't all that far off. So, uh, the base, actually, this is a bit of a uh, bit metallic there. I don't know if you can see the shine and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty standard black base, honestly. Uh, and each of these, then, Boruto and Naruto, each come with... There's a little um, nub at the bottom of the foot that kind of positions them on one hole. 
and uh, which means you can kind of angle them a little bit if you wanted so you could I don't know, kind of have them facing off. Uh, maybe if you had other statues that kind of scaled with these. The other thing with Ban Presto is they they are slightly harder to scale because um, I've got a Gogeta, but I imagine one of his biceps is probably the size of Naruto's head. So I don't I don't think the um, they've got one to one scale. But I've got to say, in terms of detailing, I'll I'll turn it round slowly. Hopefully you guys can get a decent look. Um, in terms of detailing and sculpt, this is pretty darn good. I especially like Naruto's Hokage cape. Um, it's just, it, it's the right level of fluid, it's not over the top, but it's kind of got that, um, you know, the fluidity going on and stuff. And there are small details that are really like, for, for example, uh, Naruto's zips up there, and, uh, oh, okay, hang on. Okay, sorry about that, I hadn't actually pressed his foot in. I think I'm literally bouncing it on the hole. Um, but yeah, as I said, the, the little um, touches, like the zips and stuff, are all very metallic. Obviously Naruto's got his uh, regenerated arm wrapped in bandages and stuff. And yeah, overall, it's pretty darn good. It's, um, admittedly, this isn't my favourite version of Naruto. I, I just don't dig the kind of slightly short hair. But with the cape and everything, it really pulls it together. And... Um, I know, I'm quite a fan of Boruto's design. My oldest have been uh, since the series started. So I kind of wanted something um, with him in, and I thought, well, this is actually a really nice kind of centerpiece to any um, Naruto kind of statue collection thing. But yeah, you know what? Overall, this has been a pretty darn good um, special edition, especially for the fact that, you know, you get a game, you get the season pass, which... Um, it's also a nice touch and stuff, and you get a pretty darn good statue, and also just a generally quite a pretty box and stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do want to get your hands on this, there's a decent chance that it might be quite cheap now. As I mentioned at the start, this did retail for 95 almost £100, um, and I, I, just, I, I wasn't willing to spend that, because I saw this originally, and I was like, nah, I'm good. When I saw it for 28 I was like, you know what? That's pretty darn good. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give Shinobi Strikers a try. I played the demo for a little bit. It's quite fun. As long as I can make my own ninja and play a couple games online, then I think this was worth it overall. Right, well, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to have a look through the channel, I've got a couple other kind of anime-related special editions and stuff that I've unboxed. Uh, as always, if you want to know anything else about this, just comment in the comment section below and I shall try and get back to you with whatever you need to know unless it's really weird stuff like my national insurance number or whatever and I'm not giving you guys that until next time goodbye